we had a great lead out again and a great work from Marcus and Rasmus during the stage. So uh, I'm very happy and pleased with the team performance. I think it will be too hard for me to defend the jersey, but we have Lekinson, we have Magnus uh, that can climb very well. Also, maybe Abrahamsen. So uh, we will see how we can uh, do tomorrow with these guys. There's no doubt the big obstacle in this year's Arctic race sits at the end of stage three. The Jakobs back and climb, never been visited before, but casting a shadow over the entire sunny race. The mares cut the bunting and we were off and underway. Would there be a break? Would they make it home? 155 kilometers up ahead of the field and indeed seven went up the road before they started to fracture early, leaving six to duke it out, including, of course, Johannik, the man who would be king of the mountains. Wearing that amazing jersey belonging to him, an amazing race about to reveal itself to us. They passed through plenty of tunnels on this day, but really it was the climb to the sky at the finale that was going to beguile. Time to take it on. Time for that gap to be closed down with 55 kilometers remaining. It was still a handsome lead. Slowly but surely, Unox gained control and Marcus Holgaard, the Norwegian champion, the engine of the destruction of our break. Who though would have the legs at the finale? Not Joannik, he was saving his for more mountains points on the final day. The fireworks went off and a display was to be had. Time to kick on, be last man standing, be a hero. The big names dragged themselves to the front. One last man, of course, Stensby from Team Corp Repsol. He was wound in. Christian Scaroni, who lost this race by only a solitary second, he had a dig. And then others folded into the fray, while Christoph himself just tried to hang on for a points jersey by the end. One after another they tried. Maro Schmidt first for Jaco Alula. And then his teammate Dode Preto. He went for it. He was in good company too. Riding along, Camille Bono of Flanders Belvoirs. The pair of them up front like bait for the hounds behind. Magnus Court trying to strive on. He saved himself at one point. Blackmore also had a dig. Kevin Van Ark was up there as well. De Preto faded, Bono kicked on, could he make it? Bono, he's going to have the second margin plus the bonus at the end here today. He's going to bring this home by the look of him. Absolutely superb, the crowd can't believe it. Neither can we. What a surprise winner, but what an effort that has been as well. Timing is what this has all been about. And Camille Bono comes home here for the biggest win of his career. He's done it in the Tour of Britain. He's going to do it here as well. Chapeau, sir. What a way to bring it in. Ten bonus seconds to his name. May well be the uh, leader of this race as well. Bono is going to hit the line. And then all of a sudden, we're going to be counting everyone else. But keep driving it home, my friend. It could be the leader's jersey. There it is, two, three seconds back uh, to court. And the rest of them as they come across the line. But my goodness, what a win for Camille Bono. Uh, yesterday I got uh, the bad news that uh, my grandfather died and uh, he was kind of the reason that I started cycling at the first place and uh, well it was no possibility to go home so I wanted to give my everything today and I knew I was in a good shape and uh, I knew I had, a, I had a small chance of winning. I was not riding alone today. I lost, I lost both my grandfathers in three months, so I hope they watch together to the race today. What an amazing day. What a fabulous winner as well. He brought it home. The smiles as well. Bono taking it ahead of court for Mark, Blackmore and Chapuzan. A two second margin plus the bonuses meant that court took the lead of the race by one solitary second. Had Bono not celebrated his grandfather's passing, would he have led the race? Did it really matter? It was a beautiful day. Christoph resplendent in blue, two points clear of court in the points classification. 
And of course, there's a peacock here. You know his name, Joannik. 40 points, can't be caught. He will be king of the mountains, provided he finishes the race. And Bono is a young rider classification leader. Six seconds clear of the mark. What a race and what a day.